I have no idea what I was gonna say. <laughs> Lex isn't scary. The scariest thing about this tutorial is that this frame is almost <gasps> overexposed. <gasps> In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to be a kid. And I'm gonna do a sponsor plug. You guys ready for this? Dang, BH Cosmetics just sent me their wild and free, wild child, and wild of heart wild at heart palettes. So yes, technically I guess I'm supposed to let you guys know that these palettes were sent to me. But in all seriousness, for those of you guys who watch my videos, you guys know I've been using BH Cosmetics since I was like 14 years old. I started out with them before I even had body paint. I've been buying their products for like ever. So I cannot say thank you enough to BH Cosmetics for sending me these palettes over. And then It actually ended up working out completely perfectly because I already had a leopard on my schedule for Halloween videos. And every single year, people always ask me, can I do a tutorial without using body paint? So then when I had this palette arrive at my doorstep that just so happens to be Wild Child, I was like, perfect! This is gonna work out great because the palette has all golds in it. As always, all the products in the same listed somewhere on the video. And don't forget to go to Facebook and check out my page, Made You Look by Lex, and like it. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to contact me. Gotta get real close to the camera for that. Important things need close up shots. Don't forget to subscribe. I had to get closer for that one because even more important. I definitely think I should get some sort of brownie points for having my very first shot out of focus. I'm first applying a yellow body paint around the rim of my face. If you don't have any body paint and you're not using it for this look, don't even worry about this step, it's fine. And then just smoothing out the edges and blending it right into my face. Just to map out some highlights on my face and then using light tan body paint on my nose, my forehead, and then also where my mouth is going to be. If you're not using body paint, you could always use a foundation that's a bit lighter than your skin. Fill in your eyebrows if they needed to be filled in. And also go ahead and prime your eyes. Now because there's no names for the colors in the Wild Child palette, I'm just gonna tell you exactly where they are. I'm first applying the bottom right white color underneath my brow and then also on the inner corner. I'm then taking a second brush and placing it on an angle on my face to give myself a little bit more of a cat eye shape without using tape. And I'm applying in my crease and on my lid the upper left corner which is a light gold. I'm then going back in and darkening it up a little bit with the color in the second row all the way to the right which is a deeper gold. I'm then lining my eyes using my BH Cosmetics Party Girl Black Eyeliner. I'm lining both the top and the bottom and then smudging it out using the Made You Look Angled Brush. Using any kind of liquid eyeliner, also draw a triangle on your inner corner. I'm gonna be using the same colors that I used on my eyes for the rest of my face and my body. I'm first starting off with the color in the upper left corner of the Wild Child palette and it is like a light gold. And I'm just outlining my entire face as well as going underneath my cheekbones for some contouring and some definition. I'm also using this color to contour my nose as well as connect my nose to my eyebrows, almost more like a cat type muzzle. And also creating a shadow and outlining around my cat-like mouth. For the leopard mouth, you're gonna wanna make an upside down heart going from your nose to your upper lip. I'm then using black body paint and the Made You Look Angled brush to draw on my nose as well as a little line on my mouth and to fill in my upper lip, which is gonna stay pretty thin like a cat. If you're not using any body paint for this tutorial, you could also use eyeliner. Add the white shadow in the bottom right corner of the palette around your entire mouth area, as well as your nose, your forehead, your chin, and honestly, you know, I am so pale, I could probably use this thing as a highlighter. For all of my spots, I'm using the BH Cosmetics Party Girl Eyeliner. The easiest way to describe how to do leopard spots is just to make them like squiggly C's and squiggly O's. Remember, if you're creating a cheetah, that the spots are going to be solid, and if you're creating a leopard, there's going to be a hole in the spots. You guys can also add some smaller spots using body paint or liquid eyeliner. I'm then using a darker gold shadow just to fill in some of the areas of the spots. As well as taking my eyeliners and putting some whisker holes. For my body, I'm literally just doing the same thing that I did as my face. I'm applying that base of yellow body paint, then going in with a light gold from the Wild Child palette, a darker gold from the Wild Child palette, and then drawing on my spots using eyeliner. Oh. 
Oh, yes. Get the ring light around my second face. Now the greatest thing about this is not only does my grandma have me as a leopard frame for when I was like 16 years old, but both of these looks are done almost completely just using eyeshadow. So with practice and patience, even if you can't get every product in the world, you can still make advancements in your work.